Hey YouTube world, it's Kirk Patrick. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, as you can see on the title there, it's uh, this is uh, it's kind of hit me today when I interact with somebody else. It made me think about this here story, a couple of stories from a few years back. <clears throat> Some people got no business of being in business. They don't. I remember a while back when I was running, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, running a te technician route, bug company, spraying houses, restaurants, schools, things like that, you know, specialty work too. Uh, my rig on the back of my truck, you know, all your bug trucks, they got, you know, they got this big rig on the back, got a 25, 50, or 100 gallon tank. Some of them got 200 gallon tanks. You fill 200 gallons with 8 pounds of water per gallon. Uh, that's 1,600 pounds. And we're talking about a 1,500 truck. Hmm. Rough on them. But anyway, my motor quit working on my rig. And I was in a brand new truck. I mean, you know, three or four months old. And it just wouldn't, wouldn't start. Wouldn't pull. It was locked up. Look down there in the oil thing, and it was empty. And had no damn gum oil in it. Oh, man. Let me tell this part of the story when I call my boss. <clears throat> uh, so it was my last stop of the day, so I threw that little granules, you know. And they were expensive. <clears throat> they don't work no better. Look about the same, but they're more expensive. <clears throat> Anyhow, called my boss up to my, my motor on my rig. Quit working. It won't pull. It's locked up. <clears throat> said, you got any oil in it? I said, no. <clears throat> no, you didn't look. I said, yeah, it ain't got no oil in it. <clears throat> ain't have it three months. I didn't think it'd burn through the oil in three months. <clears throat> he said, well, go by that Moore place there. We they They come by here the other day and Asked for a business. I said, where's that place at exactly? He said, it's a new business in town. It's over there by the Walmart in that little side row. They sell them skag mowers. Now, <clears throat> a lot of y'all know where I'm at, so I'm going to tell you right now that, that that business is going out of business, and the people that carry skag mowers here and now, skag mowers, lawn mowers, them old southern accent gets a few of y'all. Yeah, <clears throat> just what we is. We short to the point. Anyhow, y'all know about them skag mowers? Them mowers, they zero turn. Man, that, that's what the commercial folks use. They run from eighteen to twenty thousand dollars for a lawnmower. A lawnmower. Yeah. Anyhow. So okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw them putting a sign up over there the other day. <clears throat> so go by there first thing in the morning. <clears throat> Drop the truck off. I have somebody pick you up. I said okay. So that's what I done. I went by there first thing in the morning. Got out. And it was uh, opens at nine. It was nine ten, and it weren't open. And here's a new business. And they're on the doors or hours of operation. <clears throat> so I take my key, you know, and I, you know you take a key and tap on a glass door. Ta -ta -ta -ta, man, it makes a noise like <laughs> something else. <clears throat> but anyhow, uh, so I tapped on that glass door, tapped on it again. Then finally heard somebody say, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah, on the way. <clears throat> Got back up. <clears throat> Here come that guy. He unlocked the door. <clears throat> so what do you need? Not how you doing? Welcome to the place there. Uh, what do you need? I said, well, uh, I'm in the bug truck out there and, and the motor is locked up. It needs a new motor. 
Leave me the keys. <clears throat> so, all right. So let me get a couple things out of the truck before my ride picks me up. I'll bring you back the keys. <clears throat> so my ride pulls up. I take all the essentials out and all the chemicals out. You know, we're not going to leave something like that laying around in a lawnmower shop. <clears throat> out on the street. <laughs> Anyhow, I get all that stuff out. And that guy, just the way he acted me. Told me to do something I learned a long time ago. Yeah, I learned a long time ago. I said something ain't right about this place. <clears throat> so I took a penny out and I put it on the front wheel. On the driver's side, on top of the tire. <clears throat> Went in there, gave him my keys. Said, all right, check it on in a few days. I said, well, here, give him a card. Call me. Uh, I said, I make my living with that there truck. I need it running fast. He said, everybody around here makes their living with that stuff. I got lawnmowers people make their living with. I said, all right. Now, this, these people a month before had came by our business and asked for our motor business because they knew we had motors, you know, small engines on our trucks and they would go out and they would they would they wanted to fix them or replace them or <clears throat> so i said all right you gonna have it ready in the morning in the morning we gotta check it out <clears throat> i said it's locked up it won't it needs a motor is this your car i said yes sir. He said, i'll call you god dang it Anyway, I went back to the office, you know, got another truck, and I done my business that day, and the next morning I went by there. I had like two stops, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, so around 10 I slid by there. Truck still sitting in the same place, pull up beside it, penny still on the tire. Walk inside and said, uh, how's it going on my truck? Oh, it's next in line. It's next. I said, oh, okay. Well, call me. I figure, you know, he slapped the motor on it. Call me that afternoon. Oh, it didn't happen. So here's day three. I rolled in there. This time I wasn't able to get there by there at about one o'clock. The guy ain't called me. <clears throat> and here's a brand new business. I guess they couldn't hire a secretary. So when you call the number, you got to press one for this and two for that. And then one for this and three for that and zero uh, it, anyhow, so I rolled by there one or two o'clock that third day. Truck still sitting there, and penny still on the tire. I go in there and said, "Well, you got to look at my truck. Yeah, is it ready?" <clears throat> said, "You need a motor." I said, "Yeah." Well, I'm going to have to order a motor. <clears throat> I said, man, when I brought the thing in here, I told you it was locked up. It needed a motor. Why in the hell you get a motor and put it on there? Well, you want a dang motor or not? It'd be three days before I can get it. <clears throat> so no, no, I we ain't going down this route. I'll just pick the truck up. I said, just go ahead and give me the keys. Well, it's a $75 service charge. I said, $75 service charge? The truck ain't moved. Oh, yeah, we brought it in the shop. And we checked it out. And I, it, that, that motor's locked up. We need a new motor. I said, that damn truck ain't moved because the penny I stuck on the front tire still there, Bubba. You ain't blowing smoke up your average Joe's uh, south end. I said, uh-uh. He said, well, you ain't getting the damn keys until I get $75. I said, all right. I'm going to play that game. So I called my boss. Told him, he said, let me talk to the SOB. So I handed him my phone. Yeah. Boss said something like, "Look, man, we're sending you our business. You know, I got three or four more trucks. Need, you know, 
oil change, spark plug tune-ups. Heck, he charged me $75 for it. Truck ain't move. <clears throat> he told me you needed a motor from start. And I said, well, I don't give a rip. Right now, all on my, all's on my mind at $75. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what, I'll give you a credit card for that $75. But you can forget getting any more business from us. Guy hung up the phone. Ran the credit cards. And here, here are your keys. Anyway, he, he didn't last a year. He went slap out of business. <clears throat> Some people don't belong in business. I'm telling you. Anyhow, the, the other story there I was thinking about. Well, there's another young fella come up there. and This was after I then got move myself up in the company, you know, I'm service manager. <clears throat> and the guy comes in there and he didn't open up a new automobile repair shop. And uh, had some backing, some money, and they went in there and put new equipment in, you know, the lifts and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Some bank went out on a limb on that boy. They loaded him up with the latest, greatest equipment. He won't business. <clears throat> All right. So first thing I know, <clears throat> one of them Nissan trucks we got, clutch one out. They bad about that. A Toyota. The only time the clutch goes out is because somebody's learned how to drive in it. <laughs> Anyhow. <clears throat> so running over there. <clears throat> With the wrecker, met him over there. Say, hey man, clutch is out. Oh, he will jump right. They jump right on. Next afternoon, they call. See, truck's ready. How <clears throat> you want to pay? I said, I'll give you a credit card. We can come to credit card. One by day, where another person got picked up the truck, brought back to the lot. Everything's fine. Everything's working good. Two or three goes along. Days goes along. We'll call the technician. Hey man, how's that clutch doing? Hey man, what clutch? Ain't no problem. Okay. Yeah, good job. So next little job come up, send it over there. And them sent one on, send it over there. Well, there's the boy it got a little bigger. Some people don't need to be in business. The so boy got a little bigger. He somehow got got in with some government people. Next thing I know, the city cops got the cars over there. Sheriff's office got the cars over there. Forestry department's got the cars over there. The state hospital, corrections, any kind of gov any kind of car with a government plate on it was over. <clears throat> yeah, all right. And not what I was a figure. This is stuff the government, you know, needs to get fixed, and they, they never could get it down. They never found some fool who's gonna fix it for them. So, you know, load them down. Well, what, what the boy forgot was the customers that got him started. Little small companies like like mine. Another little small company, a Serve Pro here. Local little company. Yep, yep, yep. Got a little company, uh insulation company, you know, and a little plumber. They all started using the guy, but then when you get this government deal going on, he puts all of us behind him. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, we need sheriff's cars and police cars on the road, but trust me, they got backups. <clears throat> and if they need a ride real bad, I, I'll loan them one of mine. But uh, he got to where he went over and took something, and he didn't get to call the next day, so we make him. Then get to call the second day, he called Oh, man, we ain't got it in the shop yet. We just loaded <clears throat> but it's back there in line. Yeah. I don't know why people. <clears throat> anyway, that, that guy, same thing. All his normal customers left him. <clears throat> and uh, then COVID hit. And all his government stuff come to a stop. 
Is that what you call placing too many eggs in one basket? Or don't place all your eggs in one basket or something? Anyhow, yep. It tipped over. <clears throat> Government stopped. He had no more eggs. Nope. The golden goose done died. And all us local folks, we went on down the road and found somebody else more dependable. So, you know, I try to always make people laugh, give you a little story, maybe with a moral to it. Yeah. Just an old man spouting out a little bit of wisdom and a whole lot of silly, silliness at times. Yeah, it is. But, you know, them two things hit me today. I had a little instant happen. I, I don't need to go into that. Video's running long enough. And for those new subscribers stuck around this long, see, it's fun. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Some people don't need to be in business. So I'm going to take one out here with a little bit of old finger picking. I'm tired too, man. Y'all just don't know. Flat 10 to 8, man, rough as a car. But, you know, Jesus is getting me through it. And we're rolling right on. So don't worry about me. I'm doing all right. I got Jesus on my side. <laughs> Up mess right there. Yeah, it was. Got ten songs on my mind. Can't focus on one. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. God bless y'all. Ed Kirkpatrick. We love you. Adios.